We're on a property that used to belong to Fred Campbell. Many of the properties we've dealt with have been, we've done little bits of work on them. It might be a small gully control job or planted a few trees. This one was different. In 1964, the then Ministry of Works um, and Department of Agriculture, the people swapped backwards and forwards between those two bodies, got involved in a sand stabilisation scheme for Fred. He had a 400 acre farm, he had 25 acres left in grass and on that he could only milk 18 cows. He lived in a little cottage that badly needed replacing, it had been built out of untreated timber and was starting to disintegrate but he could not borrow money because the lending agencies didn't consider 25, cow or 25 acres of grass an, an economic unit. The balance of the property was moving sand dunes and it almost, the front edge of the dune almost reached the road, almost cut off um, access in this area. So the team from the Ministry of Works starting with an old um, Ferguson 28 with a marum planter on the back, a two-man marum planter, started planting marum. And marum grass, and there's still bits of it left on some of the ridges here, was planted at about um, one metre to two metre centres right across this whole property, the whole 400 acres. A couple of years later, Fred started, um, he sowed yellow lupin, the shrub lupin. He spread that from horseback, just broadcast it, that came up. He then started transporting kikuya out here. Um, he'd pick up the kikuya and cow dung from around his cow shed and just tip, tip it in heaps. He was quite adamant that it had to go in heaps. If you spread it out, it dried out so much that it just died. So he tipped it in heaps and uh, you'd come out here and you'd find a heap of cow dung with kukuya shooting out in all directions from it. The next step was to get some control over grazing and so we worked with Fred, drew up a fencing plan, uh, patched up the bits that hadn't quite taken the first time round and uh, over the next 10 years got it all back into grass. I went to Christchurch uh, in 1979 and when I came back in uh, 1984, I came over here and took some photos um, just to measure progress over that time. They were running about 150 head of beef cattle. They were also milking cows on the property. New house had been built and it was a totally new scene. Now, as I say, we didn't, have, didn't always deal with such uh, large scale projects. But the planting technique, the stabilisation technique, was repeated time and time again along this peninsula uh, and on the Alpuri Peninsula. And in both uh, Alpuri and further down at Poto, the same sort of country, rather than going into grass, was planted in pine trees. And so the Alpuri forest, the largest in Northland, is on this same sort of country, straight out moving sand dunes.